as this started from the bottom, now we're here. Is that what this is? He put the fucking flutes over everybody's faces in the fucking video. This is like some weird cult shit. Why do y'all treat me like this in the video suggestions chat? Why can't I just get consistently good video? We watched the Israel 85 video, and that shit was pretty good. It was a little horror movie thing, you know? Why y'all... Why y'all gotta treat me so poorly with everything else? Well, in a recent episode of Make It Real, we built the world's first plasma-based light. He sink. did what? And that video. Wait a minute. Why would you send me this one and not the part where he builds the lightsaber, dog? Homemade lightsaber explosion. He built a lightsaber. Hello there. We've just made the world's <laughs> first retractable plasma-based lightsaber. Like, that's not like an effect. That's like real shit. But I need smarter friends. <laughs> Big thank you to our YouTube members and Patreon supporters for supporting the channel. They get tons of perks, including seeing our videos before anyone else, like the lightsaber test video, which is available on our channel right now for members. A real retractable get the fuck out of here. lightsaber. The pinnacle of sci-fi tech and probably one of the most sought after fictional technologies ever. As you know, we've been developing different lightsabers or like they're called in Star Wars lore, proto sabers for the past four years now. From some initial power supply tests that got the fire department called on us to version one using nitinol wire to version two using a tungsten titanium blade hybrid version 2.1 so we could have a real life lightsaber duel, which by the way was extremely yeah. unsafe to finally our Whoa. Final style lightsaber complete with a 3D printed type Guys, built. what the fuck? Like, where is this channel? 23 million views, and don't one of y'all think that I'd want to see this shit just a little bit? Protosaber, of course, is a lightsaber with an external power pack. Since, you know, we don't exactly have D-sized batteries capable of putting out more power yeah. than a nuclear power plant. Which, by the way, is what you'd need for a lightsaber to function like it does in the movies. Now, in my opinion, just what casually we've seen so in far cosplay. Are some of the closest representations of lightsabers using real life technologies. They look like a lightsaber. They sound like a lightsaber. And at temperatures of over 3000 degrees, Shit. they actually cut stuff like a lightsaber. But as you know, the internet is not easily pleased. Those are just red hot sticks. That's just a red hot piece of metal. That's not <laughs> even a real lightsaber. Your lightsaber sucks and you should feel bad too. Luckily, I have thick skin, since I've read over half a million comments on my YouTube channel. <laughs> That's equivalent to like 200 full-length novels, by the way. So despite the troll's best wishes, we have not given up. Which is good, since you know, you could count on one hand the amount of people in this world actually working yeah. on lightsaber tech. Anyway, how the heck do you make a plasma-based lightsaber? Well, best theories say that plasma is held in a beam by a magnetic field, which scientifically checks out. You see, the issue is, producing a strong enough electromagnetic field to contain a blade, well, the lightsaber would quite literally have to be built inside of a box other right. than an electromagnet, which turns it into kind of a useless yeah. science project. Woo, I, I, I have so heard that before, like years, Luckily, years, years, up, years ago, like back before Disney took over, um, you know, Star Wars and all that, while they were explaining why light, wait, while making lightsabers is impossible. So, you know, that's how old I am. <laughs> with an alternate solution to control the flow of plasma, which allows us to make a retractable blade. That's and insanity. Change color. We're gonna be using laminar flow. You know, that cool thing where liquids flow smoothly? We actually teased this project months ago on our Instagram, which maybe we share too soon, since it's resulted in almost all new comments being, where's yeah. the lightsaber? I mean, come on guys, it might not be brain surgery, but building a lightsaber is basically rocket science. It's taken us quite a few months to get just right, and we also had to upgrade our equipment in the shop to even be able to manufacture it. Like our new Tormach 1100 what MX CNC machine, complete with that? fourth access. Bogdan's been pretty excited to try it out. And since Star Wars was a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, it's only fitting that our first real plasma lightsaber is steampunk. I think it's Bogdan. That is incredible. I think you've outdone yourself on this one, Bogdan. Look That's insanity. Out. If that's not steampunk, I don't know what is. But the real question is, how are we going to power this? Even with all of our new equipment and capabilities here at Hacksmith Industries, we're still kind of bound by the laws of thermodynamics. Which means we're still going to have to make this into a proto-saber with a power pack separate from the hilt. 
Now we've made incredibly energy dense power packs before, but in order to get enough power for a plasma based lightsaber, we're going to have to use something with more energy dense fuel. In this case, LPG, compressed liquid propane gas, which can give us 50 times more energy per kilogram. Thank you for than writing it down. Now that's a pretty incredible difference. And the cool thing, you probably have What's up with the Crayola right crayons. We're talking about normal propane that you use in your barbecue. So, how do we turn propane into a superheated beam of plasma? The answer lies with one of the most satisfying demonstrations of physics phenomena of fluids, laminar flow. Basically, we need a large array of laminar flow nozzles to create highly concentrated flow oh, of gas. Oh, that makes sense, but... Lucky for us, we aren't yeah. the only ones who need this, and highly specialized gas nozzles like this can be found at a rather high price. This nozzle right here costs over $4,000, and it's used in the glass blowing Woo! industry. To achieve maximum temperature, we need complete combustion, which means in addition to this propane, we're actually going to be using oxygen as well. That doesn't sound dangerous, right? <laughs> Anyways, let's see how it works. First, turn on the propane. Then we turn on the oxygen. Some safety glasses. Yeah, that one pair of safety glasses ain't gonna do it if this shit goes wrong. And the sparker. Cold. We've all seen these before. Look at that. <laughs> is that not a lightsaber? This beam is really cool. It's actually burning at around 4,000 Fahrenheit, which means it's capable of cutting through a lot of stuff. Should we cut through some stuff? That shit looks fake as fuck. So this is actually our old lightsaber blade made of titanium. And look at that. It's already white hot. That is so bright, Jesus. The really cool thing about doing a flame like this is we can actually color it using salts. This Let's shit looks fake as fuck. This is crazy. This is crazy. What color do you think it's going to turn Green. the blade? Got your guesses? Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Next yeah, up, know that? we have calcium Don't chloride. Don't ask me why I know that. Ooh. Look at that red orange. That almost hurts to look at. We have some strontium chloride. Woo! That is like a road flare. This actually hurts to look at. Look at that. Finally, we have some sodium chloride, also known as salt. Woo! And look at that. We've got Ray's lightsaber right here. Is that not cool? So we're able to produce a blue lightsaber, a green lightsaber, a red lightsaber, an amber lightsaber, and even a yellow lightsaber. How yeah, awesome cold. is that? That's cold blooded. For real. That's just dope. If you guys seen uh, Dr. Stone, right, the same thing that that dude did at the start of the show, he was doing the magic show. Same thing he was doing with the light show, putting the different chemicals and stuff in there. That's dope. That was, that's really fucking cool. Uh, of course, the video's linked in the description if you guys want to watch the rest of it. There's a lot, lot more that goes into that. It looks like the face cam just died, so this is just audio here. And uh, it's nice to get to know you guys a little bit more. I guess I'm going to head out and get something to uh, snack on for, for breakfast. And I hope you guys have a good one. I'll see you. Peace.